Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. On this Saturday's Accor series, we're exploring yet another Hermian Walker product. I think Matt bought all of them that were available. This is Matt, true. Which one is this? This is the Hermian Walker Coruscant. Look at that beautiful orange peel on the label. Yeah, this is another college pickup. You know, good 20-year-old bottle. It's a liter this time. The other cool thing is this one's actually 30%, whereas the current version is only uh, 15. So, woohoo! I'm excited about this old school Hermium Walker. All right. So this is, uh, like I said, 30% is made from wild oranges from the Caribbean island of Curacao, also called Lahara, which is a bitter fruit the peel they found out if you can extract that is quite delicious for making cocktails. And they also mix it with sweet oranges from Spain used to make this sweet, slightly bitter dry liqueur. They can use it as an aperitif or blend with a variety of spirits or cocktails. Like it's also kind of similar to triple sec, but not quite the same thing. Used a lot in Mai Tais or Sing Sings. But originally what happened is they started it with, uh, they brought Seville oranges, the, the trees, over to Corsau in 1527. Well, they didn't do very well. They turned into this weird green orange, which, why it's still called an orange, I don't know. But apparently it's, and it's, it's you look at it, it's this green ball. And it kind of looks like an orange on the inside when you cut it open. But yeah, so it's really strange. So anyway, in 1634, the Dutch... West Indies companies took over the island of Curacao, and one of the big guys at that time was Luke was Lucas Bowles, who, of course, is a major liqueur brand, has been around since the 1600s. And so he took this same weird, bitter thing and brought it back to the Netherlands. And he added blue dye to it, which is where you get the blue Curacao, which we'll review it another time for you guys. But the way this is made is with alcohol and water for several days, after which the peel is removed and placed in a gunny bag. The spices are then added to it, and there's a kitty cat. And then it's been hung and it's hung out. And then they add it to 96% pure alcohol. So it goes way up there. And score for, dry from fish for three days. And then they cool it for a day. And then they distill it. And they add this look this orange light flavor, which is different degrees of bitterness. And that's often colorless, which the version we're doing is the orange version, which is eh, semi colorless a little bit of orange color in there added to it. Like I said, it's but then they add the blue one makes it look exotic and special. Like I said, we'll do that one another time. Let's see what we think of this and see if we'll hate it or not. It smells like super oranges and sugar. I was going to say, like the sweetest orange juice you've ever smelled in your life. There's a little bit of bitter component on the back end of the nose, but mostly it smells super sweet. It smells like Sunny D. Oh my gosh, it so does. You're right. That fake orange juice, that sugary sweet. Mm -hmm. yes. It totally smells like Sunny D. But it's also got this Amaro bitterness nose to it as well, I can pick it up. It does. It does. It's almost an almond. Yeah, yeah. Or like a toasted walnut or something. There's yeah, a, a little bit of nuttiness. are getting a nuttiness in there for some reason. Yeah, it has a little bit of nuttiness, a little toasty charness to it. I don't know. I like the way it smells personally. I know this makes great cocktails. I made lots of cocktails with this stuff. Whoa. So it's super sweet, sugary, orange. Now the finish does get slightly bitter compared to the unbelievable sugary sweetness. It's super thick in coating. Or is then all that will have a time oh. out of this guy. You talk. <laughs> it's like it's so bad. Now it is super. He's gonna chug some water for you guys now. But yeah, this is super, super thick. I mean, it just coats the hell out of the glass. I mean, this is great for cocktails, though. I really like to use this in cocktails. I uh, have my Mr. Boston book. In fact, maybe we'll have an episode one time about Mr. Boston book and the fun games we used to play in college with Mr. Boston. So one of the reasons I bought all these Hermione Walker products was to play these games. We, Me and my best friend Courtney would sit in our apartment, and we would pick, which can we make out of the book? We turn to a random page. Can we make that? The answer was almost always Yes. So that's what we have all these Hermione Walker products. I looked it up. I think at the time I think I paid like six or seven bucks for this. I looked it up. These things are still eleven dollars, so they're still super cheap. All righty. I won't be taking another sip of that. No, he's uh, not going to drink anymore. I like don't it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Oh, keep on crusading for the liquids in your glass. Cheers.
Are you ready? Yep. Five, four. Oh, shit, I didn't pour it. Hang on. Oh, that would help. Eight, right? Yeah. Yep. Holy shit, that's fucking thick. Yeah. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Five, four... Thank you.